Hey guys, welcome to a very special Halloween edition of Weapons Wednesday, where I let you choose one of these five scary weapons to fight off this supernatural serial killer. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So imagine this, you're being chased down by the supernatural serial killer and you come across these five weapons that you can use to battle this guy. Which one do you choose? I guess for me, I'd probably grab the long range weapon first. So this is the crucible throwing weapon. And what's so cool about it is it's kind of like a throwing star and kind of like a throwing knife at the same time. It's got these seven sharp points on it and uh, it just looks deadly. I love this thing. So I'm gonna throw this crucible throwing weapon just like a throwing star directly at the supernatural serial killer's head. And we'll just see if we can take him down. I wanna get him right here though. So let's, uh, let's try one more time. There we go. So it looks like it just went right through the mask and into the pumpkin and yeah, we got a pretty good crack there. So I don't know, I'm digging this weapon. I think it's cool because um, it seems to stick no matter how it's thrown, which is really nice. I guess that's what happens when you have seven points on a throwing weapon. So I'm really digging this thing. This is a crucible throwing weapon. Definitely, definitely a cool weapon. All right, so let's just say that that crucible throwing weapon wasn't strong enough to take down the supernatural serial killer. Which weapon are we gonna choose next? So I guess for me, I'd probably yeah. grab onto this guy. This is a Grim Reaper comma. And I think that with the point on this, we can actually give this serial killer a lobotomy. But let's just take a look at this really quick. What I like about it is it's one solid piece of stainless steel, which means that there's no handle that's gonna break off or anything. It's actually a pretty solid weapon. And it's covered in this black finish, which makes it look really sweet. And it's got this uh, cord wrap around the handle, which actually gives it a really comfortable grip. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and test this out on the Supernatural Serial Killer. All right, so as you can see, the blade went nicely through this pumpkin. And I think it did quite a bit of damage to the Supernatural Serial Killer. Now, what if that wasn't enough to take him down? Which weapon are you going to choose next to take down the Supernatural Serial Killer? I guess if it was me, I would choose the Black Sawback Machete. Now, I love swords like this. I love these full tang, giant pieces of metal that are formed into a sword. They're really nice because they're durable and they're also really inexpensive. I mean, not everyone wants to spend hundreds of dollars on a samurai sword, so these give you a good alternative for something to take down a supernatural serial killer. Now, this one in particular has a sawback design, which is really nice, and the blade is actually really sharp. All the way up here, the tip is sharp. This back part is dull, but it looks sweet. It's got this black finish to it, and it's got this it looks like a paracord wrap handle, which is actually extremely comfortable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try stabbing the serial killer first, and then I'm gonna take a swipe at his supernatural head. So let's start with a stab. See, that is a very sharp sword. And I think that would do some damage, but if I've learned anything from horror movies, that kind of stab is not going to take down the supernatural serial killer. So we're going to have to pull that out and slice his head. And now you can see, I'm going to take a look down there. It made a big gash right in his forehead. But if you ask me, that probably wasn't enough. I think we're going to need to use one of the other weapons we have on the table. Now we've got two weapons left and somehow the supernatural serial killer has regrown his head. So we're gonna have to use one of these weapons to take him down. Now I'm thinking we grab this. This is the spiked trench club and this thing is a beast. 
Talk about a brute force weapon. This is like a baseball bat on steroids, and I am excited to take out the supernatural serial killer. So let's go ahead and just give him a good slug to the head, and that definitely did some damage. But what if he's still alive? Well, I've got some really bad news for you guys. The supernatural serial killer is still alive, and we only have one weapon left. Now, luckily, this is a type of weapon that nightmares are made of. Now, this is a death metal hand claw. And if we look at it, it's made out of metal, but has these resin and polycarbonate accent pieces on it to make it look cool. Now, this has approximately 10 inch stainless steel blades on it, which are pretty sweet. They're not very sharp, but this is definitely sharp enough to take down this supernatural serial killer. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slice right into his face like this. And it looks like this might be the final straw for the supernatural serial killer. I think that's a pretty sweet weapon. But if you have any questions on any of these items, definitely leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And be sure to check out KarateMart.com to see all of our awesome weapons. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.